What is going on YouTube? It's Tyler from Mission VR, where it's my mission to bring you guys good quality VR content. Sorry for the little bit of a lack in videos. I had a little bit of technical difficulties and my entire setup has kind of changed. Hence the new mic, boom arm. I got a new stand, all kinds of stuff going on here. It was a good Christmas for Mission VR to say the least, but that is because of you guys. So thank you guys for that. And I appreciate all the subscribers and you know, you guys check out these videos, leaving comments, all that stuff is well and good. Well, the time has come. Congratulations. If you are new to this, you've got a Quest 2 and now you are looking, how can I improve my Quest 2 gaming experience? What are some accessories that I could use to maybe prolong my game time, maybe make it more comfortable to play? All these things we're gonna be talking about in today's video because we're gonna be talking about the best accessories that you can get for your Oculus Quest 2. Meta Quest 2, I keep saying Oculus Quest 2. You go back at all these videos I'm recording and they're all the same. I keep saying Oculus Quest 2. It's because I'm an Oculus loyalist. I don't believe in Meta. Does anybody believe in Meta? Anyways, these are gonna be the best accessories you can get. We're gonna be talking about head straps, some controller straps, link cables, um, pretty much anything that you know, you're know you looking to maybe improve your Quest 2 gaming experience. This is gonna be the video for that. Guys, I have links below my Amazon storefront. It's a work in progress. Um, I am still building that out for some other things. All these accessories will be accessible on the Amazon storefront. And I do, uh, it does help my channel out and it helps me out as a content creator. So if you guys do see something here that you actually do wanna get, go down to my Amazon storefront, click on the link, go to the, uh, directed page and then go ahead and get your stuff through there and it does directly help me out um, and my channel so I appreciate that with that being said guys please do comment like subscribe and let's go ahead and talk about some of the best quest 2 accessories to increase your experience okay guys so first and foremost let's talk about your controllers now obviously with a you know the controllers they come standard with a regular strap here. And then you have, of course, your wrist straps, which I always encourage you to wear because there's plenty of times where these things have almost slipped out of my hands and having those is nice. But the way I used to play before having this nice accessory was if I needed to let go of a controller for whatever reason, I would just let it dangle here. And then of course, you know, your hands are dangling in the world or whatnot. Um, and then over time, of course, you know, you're always holding onto it when you're in game. So. I was not a believer in this at first, and it looks like, oh, why would I spend money on that? It's actually really a game-changing experience to be able to have this kind of, what they call the valve index type, um, you know, hand wrap around your hand, where it actually keeps your hand strapped onto the controller like this, so that I can open palm, or, you know, if I'm doing something, I don't have to be, you know, holding onto the controller, I can just kind of have it dangling there. It's really nice for a little bit longer play sessions. Now, this is the AMVR version of it. This is the one that I just so happen to, you know, get and use, and I like it on my controller. Um, the nice little thing is too here, if you look, there is a nice little easy battery compartment. So now you no longer have to pull the whole cover off. And I did a short video about this, went crazy viral. And I get so many people that are like, you don't need to dig your nail in there to get the battery cover off, all this stuff. Listen, I'm telling you my controller, the, if I went and put the originals back on, at least the left one, the right one wasn't as bad, but the left one, man, I could not get that thing off to save my life. I had to dig my nail in there. There were times I actually had to get a screwdriver to pop it off. So like, I know maybe your controllers don't do that, but mine sure did. So, and I'm sure I'm not alone out there, but this is a nice little easy compartment where I could just take the battery out and then put a new battery in and bam, I'm done. But really the nicest thing about this is definitely the hand strap. It's adjustable, of course. Um, now this is, again, like I said, this is the AMVR version. The Kiwi also makes a version of these. And um, I have a friend who actually uses the Kiwi version and he loves them. They're really the same thing. It's really not, you know, it's brand A, brand B. They're the same, they basically do the same thing. Now Kiwi has a different, um, you know, slightly different feel to it than, than this one, but really it's pick your poison on that one. And I do have both of those linked in the Amazon storefront. And I do highly recommend, you know, for a comfortable controller experience, these hand straps are really amazing. And, you know, at first it's a little bit disorienting because you have something touching your hand and holding you back. But as, as you get used to it, it, it actually becomes something you don't really want to play without. It's a nice little feature to have, and I definitely recommend it. Okay, guys, so the next feature we're going to talk about here is going to be head straps. Now, this head strap is none of the brands I'm going to talk about today. Um, and that's because really this head strap, I'm not a huge fan of it. I originally reviewed it and I, I liked it, but I found that over time, it's, it's not that it doesn't work. It's comfortable. It's just... 
it requires a lot of fidgeting to get it to the right position to be comfortable. And like, that's kind of a pain in the ass. But there are two head straps that are very highly recommended, which I really am trying to get um, my hands on one. I have a, a really close friend who sent me this video that you guys are probably gonna be watching right now. Um, and you know, he's told me all the great features about it and just really a first, a first on hands-on experience with this and just how wonderful it is. And then I've also asked around the VR community, especially population one, you know, a game where you're moving your head around a lot, um, whether these head straps are comfortable and everybody agrees they are. Plus here's a bonus feature for you. It has a swappable battery pack, which the Bobo VR headset uh, head strap is really, really nice. It's got the nice elite strap feel to it. Um, and really, you know, I'm gonna cut back to myself here. This is like a one, a one band uh, back head strap. This is my biggest problem with this headset because this thing is constantly sliding up and down the back of my head. Where with the Bobo, if you look at the back of the Bobo, it's got a nice uh, you know, cup that can sit in the back of your head, which is really nice. And then of course the swappable battery pack, which is a huge plus. This prolongs playtime. You can get multiple batteries. You can have one charging while you're using one. Really, you can, you can, in a way, if you're playing standalone, you can get yourself to a point where you actually are, you know, have almost unlimited battery life or at least six or seven, eight hours of battery life, which if you're playing VR for longer than eight hours, kudos to you because, you know, I've been a gamer. I've been able to put in some long sessions and I have played for eight hours before in a row. And I'm telling you what, it is definitely it's a grind when you're playing for eight hours. I mean, hell, Nightmare, uh, part of the one of the clan mates I'm with, he, you know, he'll sometimes stream for 24 hours. That's got to be exhausting because VR is different than regular gaming. So there's a lot of uh, physical movement involved. But definitely the Bobo VR head strap is a big one. And then, of course, Kiwi also makes a head strap, which is definitely comes highly praised. You look anywhere on YouTube, any of the other content creators, um, other people like Mateo, for example, you know, I know he loves the Kiwi stuff. And Kiwi definitely has a nice one as well. It also has a rechargeable battery in it as well, which will extend battery life to your oculus headset which again is in you know if you want more time you know the quest 2 on its own runs for a, I don't, mine runs for about an hour and a half maybe my battery my battery is always plugged in because i play on pc so that's part of maybe why the battery is damaged but if you want longer battery life these two head straps you can't go wrong they come highly praised by the community and they are very comfortable so that's going to be the most important thing with these and they are both linked in the amazon storefront below so make sure you guys check that out so another accessory that you could get for your Quest 2. Now the two we already talked about are probably the two biggest ones and the two that I would recommend immediately investing in if you really want to improve your gaming experience. Head strap probably before the controller straps, but the controller straps are definitely, I think, a big plus for me as well. But something that's important that a lot of people don't really talk about is the actual facial interface here. You can actually swap this out and um, there's some nice ones out there. VR Cover makes a nice one. And then they also have uh, you know pieces like this that swap onto there. And like this particular one's a glasses piece. So if you are a person who wears glasses in, you know, in VR, which there are some out there, or you don't want to have contacts in because, you know, contacts can dry out your eyes, or maybe you just want to be comfortable and just have your glasses on. There are pieces that fit for glasses users and also pieces that are better at wicking sweat. Um, just a little bit more comfortable on the face. And, and those are going to be linked in the description below, but a VR cover makes a nice one. And it's just, it's a little thing that if you really are, you know, saying, Hey, look, I don't really like the foam that's on there now. You know, I sweat a lot when I'm wearing it. You know, there's some nice ones. Again, the sweating is, is a big one. I know that, you know, playing some of the, you know, more workouty type games where you're really, you do start to break a sweat and your face starts sweating. And, and if you don't have something that can wick that or be nice and moisture wicking, that could be a problem. So VR cover definitely makes a good one linked in below. I definitely recommend recommend it. Okay, and the last accessory we're really gonna talk about today and highlight, there's definitely some other stuff. You can get some different covers for your um, for your headset to make it different colors and different things. That's all stuff that, you know, whatever, right? That's all important. But we're gonna talk about link cables here. Um, the reason I wanna talk about link cables is because I've gone through a number of different link cables that are not the Oculus or the Meta version um, because I'm not spending $80 on a cable. That's, that's outrageous. I, I mean, that's unbelievable. And a lot of these third-party cables work just great. This one I have so far is been my favorite and it's a, it's a newer one I just picked up because I was having a lot of trouble with some latency and issues so if you're like me and you want to connect to your PC you don't play wirelessly because you don't have the Wi-Fi set up to you know do the virtual desktop the airlink stuff and you got to play wired which is me this is probably the best link cable that I have used so far obviously you know it's got the L shape here which is fine um that's all well and good that you know if you buy a link cable without that at this point that's kind of stupid but the nicest feature about this is is the biggest problem that I've had um while playing is that if I use a traditional USB 3.0 cable it does not charge the headset while playing which is an issue and usually the headset will slowly die and maybe dead within you know four hours of play which is typically around what I do anyways session wise so that's not the end of the world but because the 
wonderful Oculus software on the PC has a lot of problems sometimes, and for whatever reason, there'll be times where it just won't be charging your headset while it's not while it's idle. And then you'll call me and be like, oh, I'm ready to go play video games. And like you pick up your headset and it's on 1%. And then guess what? Guess who's not playing because it's not charging your headset while playing? Me. So I was looking for an option that changed that. Now, here we go. Check this guy out here. So this is a USB 3.0. So I have minimal latency, almost to the point where I can't tell, um, you know, anymore. I, I don't know. I've played on this Quest for so long. I, I don't know. I, whatever a real PC VR, like an index, I can't imagine how much smoother it is. I don't know. Maybe it's not that much smoother. Either way, this has the speeds of a USB 3.0 cable. But the nice thing is, is it's got a separate external charger. This is wonderful. This is so good for... Keeping the headset charged, I've been able to play. I played like a six hour play session the other day. I had no problems with it at all. Um, it's just been a great cable. It hasn't been dropping in and out on me. Like I've had another USB 3.0 that would just occasionally just randomly, I'd be like two hours in and then it would black screen me. And then I had to restart the Oculus software to get it to go back up. It's pain, it's a pain. This one, haven't had the problems with so far. Um, I like it. I, I linked these down in the Amazon storefront. The, this is the Kuject one. I do recommend this one. It's probably the best one I've used so far. So the other two that I have on there, I just put some other options, but this is the one I absolutely recommend. And if you're looking to play PC VR linked, this is the cable for you. Well, guys, that is it for this video. I hope you guys found an accessory that you were looking for, something that's going to enhance your Quest 2 gaming experience. Do let me know in the comment section if you found something that or this found this video helpful. I appreciate it. And it does help the algorithm, which helps this video get seen, which helps my channel grow. So I appreciate that. Like I said, all the links to this stuff will be in my Amazon storefront below. So make sure you guys check that out. Um, I will definitely highlight each thing that I talked about as well in the description. So if there's something that, um, you know, I mentioned, I, I mentioned some names really quick and you guys are maybe like, oh, what's going on? That'll all be in the description. So make sure you guys check that out. But that is going to be it for today's video, guys. I appreciate it. Like, subscribe. I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.